hear about the scientist who invented a time machine? He finished building it yesterday, but won't be testing it until last week. <laughs> boom, boom. Smithereens! <laughs> boom, boom! And I mean that quite literally. <sighs> Dave, want to take on the fox? Can't. Got all this revision to do for my exams. That is just like so totally violent. <laughs> Fancy a game? Oh, cool. Hey, Liam. On your way to becoming a great inventor? Oh, yes, Lucy. Well, on my way. What's that you got there? New video phone. It's so cool. Ah, I want to invent something as groundbreaking as the mobile phone. You know? Make my mark on history. What's so great about being an inventor anyway? <laughs> Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Inventors are the two greats of any age. And soon I plan to join their hallowed ranks. So, Liam, what have you invented so far? Not a sausage. The problem is, I just can't think of anything to invent. How about extendable brush clippers? Trimming your own brush is always tricky. Anyone else find that? <laughs> oh, you know what would be cool? To be able to travel into the future and get all the answers to my exams. Then I wouldn't have to do any revising. I know what I'll invent! A time machine! Brilliant! With a time machine, I can cheat and pass in my exams. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like a time machine. <laughs> Better get your sewing box, Miss Madison. I think my sides are splitting. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait. As a wise man once said, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Ooh, who said that? Like a great Chinese philosopher? Almost. Marty McFly. Back to the future. <laughs> Oof. You may be wondering why I'm pushing a grandfather clock over the edge of a cliff. I'm making time fly. <laughs> I just can't get this stupid time machine to work. Right. I'm never going to get my exam answers from the future at this rate. Dave, maybe you should, like, hit the books. And Liam, maybe you should try inventing something a little bit more realistic. How about those extendable brush clippers? <laughs> Mine could do with a trim. <laughs> hey, what are you guys saying? Give up on the time machine? No way. If I think positive, I'm sure the solution will appear right out of thin air. It's amazing what a bit of positive thinking can do. <laughs> I don't believe it. Everything's back to normal. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. <clears throat> we bring greetings to you all from another time. Listen, you've got to stop building that time machine right this second. Playing around with the space-time continuum can only lead to... disaster. <laughs> Call 
sure he's good, isn't he? Uh, don't forget our warning. Changing the past can have a disastrous impact on the present. Oh, and Liam, mate. Watch out for that rake. Rake? Wait a minute. What rake? <laughs> He should have seen that one coming. <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. But it proves one thing. You will succeed in building a working time machine. We will? For sure. <laughs> Otherwise, how could Liam and Basil have turned up in it earlier on, hey? Yeah, that's right. I will definitely be a successful inventor. Yay! Yay! Oh. Did you guys not like listen to your own advice to stop building the time machine and all that stuff about disaster and just just hang on, hang on to what? <laughs> if we've just been visited by future versions of ourselves in a working time machine. We're still hanging on. That proves that we must ignore our own advice and build the thing anyway. Hang on, myself. He's right, you know. OK, but how? We've still got no way of cracking the design problems. I think I can help you out there. Of course! Lucy has detailed video footage of the working time machine on her mobile telephone. All we have to do is watch it back and copy the design. Great. Give us a look. I'm prepared to release the footage for a small fee, say, 50 quid. <laughs> He's good. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> After all, time is of the essence. I wish I'd had a time machine when I was a young fox cub. I could have had a lion until noon, but still been in school before nine. <laughs> boom, boom! Dave, I can't believe you're, like, totally using this time machine to cheat in your exams. Maddie, cheating is when you find out the answers before an exam, whereas technically I'm finding them out after, so I can't be cheating, can I? So, Liam, how does this box of tricks work then? OK. Use the phone here to dial the time and date you want to travel to, and then off you go. Easy as pie. You ready, Basil? Dave? Uh, unfortunately, I have to stay behind. Why? My exam's stupid. They start tomorrow. I can't miss them, can I? Basil, that make any sense to you? Not at all. <laughs> but this time travel business can get very confusing. Uh, count me in. <laughs> See you all in the future! <laughs> According to my calculations, the time machine should appear any moment now. <laughs> we really need to do something about that rematerialisation. Too right. The last time I saw me lunch, it was travelling back to 1066. <laughs> yeah. You've done me! You mean? Yeah! It's like three weeks in the future. I don't believe it. You know what this means, Basil? 
Yeah, my library books are two weeks overdue. Uh, no! It means... I'm a successful inventor! Hey! <laughs> well done and all that, but uh, don't forget why you're here. Oh, of course. The answers to your exams. I take it you failed them all. Every single one. I'm stuck in detention every night for the next two years. Don't you worry, Dave. We'll return these answers to your past self right away. <laughs> See you all later. Yeah. Or should that be earlier? <laughs> uh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Well, Basil, we've got Dave's exam answers. All we need to do now is go back to the present. Uh, uh, Liam? What? It does seem such an awful shame to waste this perfectly good time machine on getting a bunch of exam answers back to Dave. What are you saying? Why don't we travel somewhere else in time first? Get our proverbial money's worth, eh? Great idea! After all, what harm could a bit of innocent time travel do? Oh, what harm indeed. <laughs> OK, here goes. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, have we gone forward in time? Or maybe... Back! Uh. Now, don't panic. That sounds like a Tyrannosaurus Rex coming towards us. Yeah, and he sounds angry. <laughs> Not to mention... <laughs> hungry? <laughs> Leggy! <laughs> What's that one-eyed dinosaur called? Do you think he saw us? Uncle Bass, I think he did! What date did you type in, Basil? I'm not sure. In the rush, I just typed in any old date. Now, this place looks very familiar. Look, it's 1969. We're back in the swinging 60s, Basil. Of course. This is the flat I lived in when I was a struggling young comedian. Now, we've got to be careful. Remember your warning. Changing the past can have a disastrous impact on the present. It is very important we don't touch Anything. <laughs> Very nice. But it would be a shame not to have a good look around, wouldn't it, eh? <laughs> cool, I've not seen this place for ages and it hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> What's this? Well, I never. It's the old Brush family joke book. Thousands of cast iron gags passed on from one generation of foxes to the next. <laughs> what? Like a bad case of fleas? <laughs> Oi. You know. This joke book was the key to my success. Without it, I would never have achieved fame and fortune. Oh, quick, hide! We mustn't be seen! Oh, 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 oh behave! <laughs> you two ladies make yourself comfortable. I'll put on a groovy LP record. <laughs> Looks like we got away without changing the past. And even if I do say so myself, I've aged rather well. <laughs> now, come on, I think it's time we got back to the good old present. Good old present it is. Hey, 
Here we are, back in the present. <laughs> About blooming time. <laughs> <laughs> Everything seems normal. Mm. Oh no! How's it going, mate? Long time, no see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Tea and sticky buns for two, please. Lucy, medicine, great to see you all. <laughs> Feels like we've been away for decades. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't think we've met. What? Lucy, Dave, you remember us. We all share a flat together. Basil Brush, the fox with the endless supply of dodgy jokes. <laughs> you knew. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. Anyone? There's nothing to me. Never heard of it. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> This is a disaster. Yeah, somehow we've changed history. Yeah. I know. The name's Basil and Liam must ring a bell. You know, chap who hangs about with a fox. Can't be many of those around. <laughs> now you come to mansion it. <laughs> Things have gone from bed to worse. One lump or two. Not only is there no Basil Brass show, we've both got dead end jobs as local bin men. Uh, I think you mean community refuse engineers. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> See United one again. Yeah. <coughs> Hope you like my flying car. Here in the future, everyone has one. <laughs> Cool, Mortimer. That's a flash new model you've got there. Is it fast? Goes twice light speed, Baz. <laughs> Only problem is, the fuel bills are sky high. I've got the hang of this now. Oh, oh. I still can't work out what happened. We were so careful back in 1969. I know, it's a mystery. I just don't... <gasps> the Brush family joke book! Oh. <laughs> when we rushed to hide from your 1969 self, I must have stuffed up my jacket pocket without thinking. Oh, don't you see what happened? That joke book was the key to my future fame and fortune. So without it, I turned out a... Nobody. <laughs> well, that's it. All we have to do is go back to 1969 and return the joke book. Not only that, we need to stop ourselves from ever building that troublesome time machine. It's way too dangerous. Yeah, but how? Remember how we ignored our own advice not to build it in the first place? Hmm. I think I have a cunning plan. Wow. Mr. Enel, a pen and paper, if you please. <laughs> oh, groovy, baby, groovy. <laughs> Any of you babes seen my joke book, eh? Whoa! <laughs> Look after that mush. It is very important to your future success. Good-looking fella somewhere before. <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> Ladies, where were we? <laughs> OK. All we have to do now is go back to the present and warn ourselves not to build the time machine. Here's hoping the present's all back to normal, eh? Mm. Everything's back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. <clears throat> we bring greetings to you all from another time. Hang on, Mush. The viewers have seen this bit already. <laughs> oh, 
fast forward if you please. Can't continue them, they only need two. We've got to stop building that time machine right this second. It makes this fast as ever, Annette. Can have a disastrous impact on the present. <laughs> Basil, Basil. Oh, oh and uh, one more thing. You're bound to ignore our advice and build a time machine anyway. But before you do, take a look at what's hidden inside the old Brush family joke book. <laughs> oh, and Liam, mate. Watch out for that, Rake. Rake? Wait a minute. What Rake? Oh. <laughs> Oh, some people never learn. <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> what was that about looking in your old joke book, Basil? Yes, I think it's on the shelf. Dave, would you fetch it for me? Oh, I've not looked at that book for ages. Hang on. There's a note in there. And it's in your handwriting, Basil. <laughs> Dear Basil and Gang, if you ignore your own advice and build a time machine, then you will never achieve fame and fortune. Your life and Liam's will both be utter failures. Signed, B Brush, 21st of July, 1969. Never achieve fame and fortune. We can't ignore that sort of warning now, can we? No, I suppose not. I guess we better abandon the time machine. Hang on, what about my exams? Without those answers you were going to get me from the future, I'm going to fail them all. Wait, there's something else in here. Oh, it's my exam answers! We must have hidden those in there too! Brilliant! Now I get to pass all my exams! <laughs> uh, what's going on? What on earth happened there? <laughs> I think I know. Care to enlighten us, Madison? See? Since you just decided not to build the time machine, Basil and Liam never went to the future in the first place to get Dave's exam answers, so they never went back to 1969 to hide them in the joke book, and that's why they just disappeared into thin air. In fact, you two never travelled through time in the first place. <gasps> Simple. Now I'm totally confused. Right. So now I have to revise my exams like all the other kids. Oh, never mind. It's all in the past now. <laughs> all in the past. <laughs> Or is it? So, if we never built the time machine in the first place, how come we visited ourselves to warn ourselves about it, and how come Dave's exam answers were inside... Liam, Liam, Liam. You can go crazy thinking about all this. Tomorrow morning, I'm sure things will make more sense. If you followed today's plot, feel free to write in and explain it to Liam. Uh. Basil? I wonder what things will be like in the future. Well, we'll know soon enough. After all, time flies like an arrow. Ah, too true. And fruit flies like a banana. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>